This now, cancer touches nearly every family in South Africa and uh, you're being asked to get involved this October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It affects both men and women, but prevalence among South African women is increasing. Let's speak now to Dr. Sarah Neitz, a specialist and uh, breast surgeon who joins me this morning for this conversation. Doc, thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. It's concerning that even though you know breast cancer does affect both men and women, the prevalence amongst South African women, though, is increasing. What do the numbers look like at this stage? Good morning, everyone. Um, so breast cancer is certainly on the increase. Uh, one in 27 South African women is affected with breast cancer. Um, and the predictions, unfortunately, are that especially in low to middle income countries, we are going to see a doubling in overall cancer numbers. Um, over the next two decades. So it's certainly something that we predict will increase in the in the years to come. Mm. And, and you're talking about early detection because it seems that one of the challenges uh, posed by, you know, uh, uh, breast cancer not being detected early is that late stage uh, detection may, of course, reveal that cancer or the breast cancer is at an advanced stage and that makes it difficult to treat, right? Absolutely. I think no matter what type of breast cancer, because obviously there are uh, different subtypes, but every single one of them is usually treatable when they present early. Um, and late stage present presentation means worse outcomes in terms of survival, but it also just means more aggressive treatments and um, less preserving treatment options. Yeah. Doc, what so, informs... Yes, we would... yes, continue. So we would certainly... Um, uh, urge all women, um, if they find something, to come forward as soon as possible and to seek help early. Absolutely. Doc, I was about to ask, what does then inform late diagnosis? I mean, what are some of the, 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 the factors here that informs perhaps uh, a woman, in most cases, you know, not even considering coming uh, for a checkup or perhaps realizing later than earlier? So I think the key message here is that whenever you notice any change in your breast, you should seek help early. Um, the symptoms to look out for are a lump that could be in the, in the breast or underneath the arm, swelling of the breast, redness or um, scaling of the skin, any retraction of the nipple or other areas of the skin. Um, and, you know, any any sign really that changes, like a nipple discharge should be checked up um, early. Yeah. Unfortunately, when breast cancer is late, often the lump is very large or has spread underneath the armpit or elsewhere in the body. Yeah. And obviously that makes treatment much more difficult. Yeah. Doc, I guess I'm trying to ask that could it be that late diagnosis is informed by, amongst other things, either lack of awareness? You know, I know that we often get told um, as women how to self-check if you feel any lumps. Perhaps most women are not aware of this. They don't know how to do it. They're not confident in checking. Or could it be a lack of, you know, access to health care that informs why women only come yeah. when, uh, you know, it's, it's later on in advanced stages of cancer. Could that be possible reasons as to why you're seeing uh, late detection? Absolutely. So I think lack of awareness is one thing, but mm -hmm. I also feel a lot of women are very fearful over the, the diagnosis and what it would mean. Um, uh, many women have also problems with access to healthcare facilities that um, are actually able to pick this up and treat it. So I think it's a combination of many things. In an ideal world, we would want high quality treatment and easy access for all women across South Africa, but we're just not there yet. So I think the more we know about it and the more we take the fear around the diagnosis and the treatment with easy referral patterns into good quality centers, the, the more we're going to win um, on making this journey as easy as possible for the women affected. Right. At what age, Dr. Sarah, is uh, breast cancer more likely to be a risk in a woman's life? So certainly the highest risk are um, postmenopausal women, so over the age of 55. But we are seeing more and more young women who are presenting um, earlier. 
So the diagnosis of a woman under the age of 40 would be regarded as young breast cancer or under the age of 30 even would be regarded as very early, very, very young breast cancer patients. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing them across the board. No one is too young or too old. And I think this is one of the things that we need to get out there because many women will think, well, it's not me. I'm too young for this. And that's unfortunately not the case. Yeah. If you have a lump or any concern at any age, it has to be checked out. Right. Doc, is there anywhere where you can also just uh, show us or even tell us how to check for a lump? Because, I mean, I'm sure every woman, you know, in their breast feels some sort of a lump somewhere, but they're not sure if it's a normal lump that's meant to be there, perhaps a gland that is meant to uh, be there. It's, it's a normal gland for you not to worry about. H how do we then know the difference between what's supposed to be in the breast and what is not uh, that could potentially be a risk uh, that requires requires further screening by a medical doctor? That's an excellent question. And look, breast self-examination isn't easy. I think the, the key message is to know your breast and to do a breast self-examination regularly. In premenopausal women, I would suggest that you do it one week after the end of the period, because at that stage, the, the breast is the easiest to examine. And in postmenopausal women, just to set a reminder or a certain date, like the first weekend in the month, okay, to do a, a breast self-examination. Usually we start with inspection. So by looking at the breast, look in the mirror, look around and put your um, arms to the side. And then also put your arms over your head to see if there's any puckering of skin, especially underneath the breast. In terms of the actual palpation, everyone has their own way. You can do it under the shower. You could um, lie down for it. And I think it's just important to be m very uh, organized in how you do it. So start, let's say, in quadrants. Um, start on the outer side and move towards the nipple and then move to the lower and the inner sides after that. Um, it's very important that you use your finger pads and not the tips and that you palpate gently with both um, our hands. It's important not to actually squeeze the breast tissue between fingers because oftentimes you'll just feel a lump and that's normal just because of the consistency of breast tissue. And um, once you've done this um, examination, obviously if you do feel a new lump, it's really important that you do not fear, but that you come and you get help from a health care professional. Right. Before I let you go, Doc, and briefly, perhaps if you may, besides the actual, you know, uh, uh, testing with your hand, lying or raising your arm in the shower, as you've just mentioned, is there any visual examination or any feeling that we can also just pay attention to to see if there may be a cause for concern there? Sure. I mean, like some women will um, develop burning or pain. Um, pain generally is not a, a sign of breast cancer, but can be in early stages. Um, visually, as I said, look in the mirror and see for, for changes. Look at your skin, mm. look at your nipple, whether it's retracting or not, whether the skin is dimpling. Those are all signs that you need to react on. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Serenis, for talking to us about this. Hopefully, you know, every woman and men after this conversation can make use of going out there to their medical uh, doctors to get checked up. And I think it shouldn't warrant when you feel or see something. Going for regular checkups uh, is usually helpful, I suppose, in early detection. But thank you so much, Dr. Serenis, for speaking to me about this. A specialist and breast surgeon are talking about uh, the prevalence of uh, breast cancer. Uh, one in 27 women. Uh, of course, accounting uh, for the increasing number of uh, breast cancer we're seeing in the country. Men as well are accounted, uh, but women much more uh, increasing, according to Dr. Sereni. So please go out there and get yourself checked because early detection assists with better treatment. All right, more to come.